Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to use the remainder theorem. I will also show you how to find the remainder value of any given polynomial in a super easy way. And I will also go over these examples as well to find the remainder to make sure that you have a good, good kind of understanding about this topic. So before we go any further, let's pretty quick go over these basics of division algorithm. Here's the anatomy or the body parts of this division. As you can see, divisor, quotient, dividend, remainder. And here is our very first example. In this example, we are asked to find the remainder if this given polynomial is divided by this binomial x plus 2. And this problem can also be written as like the way I put it down over here. In order to find the remainder, we have a couple of options to find the remainder. First of that one is a long division. Here I simplified this problem over here and I found out that the remainder is negative 47. And the other method is synthetic division, as you can see this one. And you can also see that we got remainder as negative 47 as well. And now you might be wondering, is there any easy way of doing this problem to find the factors other than these two methods? Yes, there is another method. Here, let me show you that one. Here, look at this dividend part, this one, 7x power 3 plus 3x squared minus x minus 5. And here I put down that dividend right here. Our next step, I want you to look at the divisor, this part only, which is positive 2. The opposite sign of this is going to be negative 2. So wherever you see these x variables, just replace them with this negative 2 and see what happens. So this becomes 7 times negative 2 power 3 plus 3 times negative 2 square minus and negative 2 minus 5. We just fill in the blanks. Let's simplify it. So 7 times negative 2 power 3 is negative 8 plus 3 times this is going to be positive 4. This is plus 2 minus 5. That is going to become negative 56 plus 12 plus 2 minus 5. And if you simplify this one, that is going to be negative 47. And that is remainder as well. And this simpler method is called the remainder theorem as you can see over here. Now we have a three different options. First one is long division, synthetic division, and this simple one is the remainder theorem. Which one you would like? Of course, obviously we're gonna like this one. So that means we no longer we're gonna be using these two methods for finding the remainder. And here is the proper definition of remainder theorem. If a polynomial p of x is divided by a binomial x minus a, then the remainder is going to be equal to p of a. So let me show you this example one once again in a formal way, in a nicer way. So the very first step is I want you to look at the dividend part this one only. I want you to call this one P of X. P stands for polynomial. So I want you to write down P of X somewhere here equals to 7X power 3 plus 3X square minus X minus 
five. The next second step is I want you to look at the divisor, this part only, which is positive two. The opposite sign of this positive two is negative two. I want you, wherever I want you to see, wherever you have x variables, just replace them with negative two. So we are gonna get then p of x becomes negative two, so seven times negative two power three plus three times negative two power two minus negative two minus five. Let's simplify it. So seven times negative eight plus three times positive four plus two minus five. Let's simplify furthermore negative 56 plus 12 plus 2 minus 5. And if you simplify this thing, that is going to give you negative 47. So P of negative 2 turns out to be negative 47 and negative 47 is our remainder thus our remainder turns out to be a negative 47 and that is our answer so let's get started with the next example by using this definition of remainder theorem once again the very first step is i want you to look at it wherever you see this dividend call it p of x. So our p of x means the polynomial of x is x squared minus 2x plus 4. Our next step is look at the divisor and look at this part which is negative 5. The opposite sign of negative 5 is positive 5. So wherever you see x variable replace it by Five. So this is going to become p of 5 equals to 5 square minus 2 times 5 plus 4. Let's simplify 25 minus 10 plus 4 which is equal to 19. So p of 5 turns out to be 19 and 19 is our remainder so thus our remainder turns out to be 19 and that is our answer and here is our next example we want to find the remainder in this case the very first thing again is look at our dividend and we are going to call this one p of x so our p of x I can write as 2x power 4 minus x square minus 3x plus 5. Our next step is, I want you to look at uh, this one over here, the divisor part. The divisor over here, this numeric part is negative 1. The opposites of this negative 1 is positive 1. So wherever we're going to see x variable, I am going to replace this one by 1. So this is simply is going to become p of 1 equals to 2 times 1 power 4 minus 1 square minus 3 times 1 plus 5. Let's simplify this thing. 2 times 1 power 4 is 1 minus 1 square is 1 minus 3 plus 5. So that's going to be 2 minus 1 minus 3 plus 5. And that is going to be equal to equals to 3. So P of 1 equals to 3 and 3 is our remainder. So thus our remainder turns out to be 3 and that is our answer. And finally here is our last example. The good thing is I have already did this one for you guys. 
and you can see how I did it okay the very first step is look at the dividend call it p of x so I put down p of x equal to x power 3 plus 2x square minus 7x plus 1 the next step is look at this positive 3 in the divisor part just change its, change its sign that becomes negative 3 so wherever you see x replace it by negative 3 so p of negative 3 you can see and we got p of negative 3 turns out to be 13 and 13 is our remainder and that is our answer and finally here is your assignment can you do these problems on your own you can take your time you can pause the video luckily i have already uploaded this video as well please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye